Thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. More on them later. I'm sharing one week of outfits from my fall 10 item capsule wardrobe in today's video. Hello everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I have an all new outfits of the week video. At the time I'm filming this, it's actually the beginning of September. I know you're seeing it a bit later but I don't have a lot of my fall pieces yet. They are coming in, I'm still selecting them. So this video is going to kind of show you the transition into fall that I'm making with what I currently have. So starting off with my outfit today, it is a quiet luxury look. You're going to be seeing that video on Thursday, I believe, but some people requested for me to talk about the quiet luxury trend, which is something that I love. <laughs> Obviously, I'm like so happy about this trend. Anyway, I am wearing today this V-neck sweater from Mott & Bow. It's a cashmere sweater. They have excellent cashmere at excellent prices. I love them. And it's a deep V-neck. So I'm wearing this with the plunge t-shirt bra from Nay The plunge bra from Nay is perfect for V-necks because you don't see it. And if you do see it, it's like a little peak of a camisole. That's what I'm doing and it, it provides really good shape. I love that bra. So I'm wearing that and then the Everlane jeans. Now I'm wearing these jeans, transitioning them from spring and summer into fall. I might change them for a darker color as fall progresses or winter comes. But right now I like them. I think they're working really well with my fall pieces. And then a very classic quiet luxury look is the driving loafer. So these are the ones I've had for a while now from Oliver Cabell in this wonderful deep chestnut caramel color. And I think the dark navy of the sweater, the caramel and the driving shoe looks so good for fall. I love it. My handbag is the WP standard bag. Again, playing on those deep, rich fall colors. My watch is Cartier and my earrings are Zoe Love. So this is obviously a very casual look, very understated, but also chic and it takes me where I wanna go. I have not painted my nails yet. They have nothing on them, but I'm going to be painting them probably tomorrow or the next day, we'll see. So that is my look for today and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I know you know what dress this is. This is the Rungoli Melody Midi dress. I had the green version of this. I believe it was called the green French floral, although I'm not sure, for years, like at least two years. That dress, it's actually right here because I'm washing it um, to put away. I was using this heavily in the transition. Here's the thing about this dress. It still looks amazing. Like this dress, I have probably worn this at least a hundred times, maybe washed it close to that amount of times. And it is so high quality. I love the Rungoli dresses. So this is pure silk and this is a different color. So I could honestly keep wearing that dress probably for another year or two even, but I wanted a change of color. And Anjali, who is my friend, who is the founder of Rungali, she's so amazing. So I wanted to showcase one of the other dresses. So this is the same silhouette. I was looking at the other ones, but I love this one so much that I can't quit it. And this shade is called French Berry Floral. So it comes with a waist tie or not. And I tend to wear it lately not with the waist tie. I don't know why, it's just so flowy and free, but it looks good with the waist tie too and it's nice to have that option. You could also tie it up here or down. So I love this color. I feel like for fall, this is going to be such a nice, rich, deep color. Even going into winter, you could wear this year round actually, spring, summer too. And Angeli was saying to me that in the spring and summer, you could wear this with gold sandals in the fall, winter with riding boots or ballet flats like I'm wearing here today. Okay, so what I'm wearing with this dress, which I'm really excited to wear for fall and winter is the Nyrell butterfly earrings. These were a birthday present to myself. I've wanted them for about a year. So I finally bought them for myself for my birthday. I love them, they're so pretty. And then my watch is by Tag Heuer and my bracelet is the Goryana Rose Quartz Power Gemstone bracelet. Today I'm wearing the Thigh Society shorts 
which I've mentioned in a previous video, but these are perfect, especially for dresses when you're not wearing stockings or pantyhose. They're great. I love them. They're not as constricting as shapewear. They're just like wearing a nice, comfortable panty, but they go, they just provide a lot of coverage if you're wearing a dress. And then the Thursday Boots Ballet Flat. So I'm looking forward to styling this dress in different ways. I will play with it with sweaters, coats, with riding boots, and I think it's a wonderful bohemian whimsical dress and I love this color. So that's what I'm wearing today and I will see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, I guess I'm doing Rungoli two days in a row. You will recognize this dress from last fall season. I love this dress, it's like the perfect fall dress. It's Little House on the Prairie, chic, and I absolutely love it. However, I didn't know if it was going to return because this dress took a beating last year. If you remember, I accidentally washed it with something that dyed it blue. And because of that, I had to wash it so many times in that like oxy thing, the bleach thing. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen, which did ultimately take out the blue color. But because of that, and, and this just goes to show how well-made these dresses are. It's still standing, it's silk, but it was really put through the ringer because of that. And so anyway, I wasn't sure if I would bring it back, but I tried it on because I packed it away, tried it on and I thought, I love this dress so much. And actually, you know what? It still looks good. Only I know this story and you, <laughs> but people in my daily life don't know what this dress has been through. Another thing is that through all of that process where I was trying to get out the blue, it a button fell off right here. But that's okay because it's concealed. So I just need to mend that. So there's a lot going on with the dress, but I love it so much. It's so perfect for fall. I will wear this through November. I'm wearing my hipstick tights. These are the sheer hipsticks. I love hipstick. They have that lace band that makes them stay up and not ride down. They're my favorite pantyhose. And then the John Joseph Go Go Lug Shoe and the Bull of a Watch and the Teddy Blake deep maroon handbag. I feel like this is such a great fall look and it's very, what's the word? It's just like layered and interesting and it feels very literary to me. You know, I do feel a bit like Virginia Woolf. I have no idea if she would wear something like this, but that's kind of how I feel. So anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. I love this outfit. I'm so glad the dress is returning. It has been through so much, but it's still with us. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I know you're wondering about this outfit, which you're going to see a little bit later. But right now I want to take a quick break to tell you about Element who have kindly sponsored today's video. If you watch my channel regularly, you'll know that I do intermittent fasting and I believe that it's important to stay hydrated and get my electrolytes in. So I absolutely love Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. I love that with Element, I'm replenishing my electrolytes in a safe way. I love their flavors. They have citrus, raspberry, watermelon, orange, chocolate. They also have seasonal flavors or even unflavored if you prefer that. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. So get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. This deal is only available through my link. So go to drinklmnt.com forward slash daily C. And thank you so much to Element for sponsoring this video. Okay, now back to the outfits. Hello everyone. So I had a very exciting package from Sky yesterday. I work with Sky and I tend to feature one or two of their pieces in my wardrobe each season. And this shows how much I love the brand because I keep coming back to them. And I feel like each season they just even get better and better. So the two core items I'm going to have in my wardrobe are this dress and then a black skirt. And then I have selected two sweaters from them as well, but I'll show you those in a different segment. But this is the Anastasia dress. It is a cream dress and it has a very subtle floral design on it in kind of like a taupe color. 
And I was deciding between this and another one of their white dresses that's so beautiful. But I think this color will go well for fall because it's more creamy and the taupe and the flowers will go really well with that lily silk sweater that I have. But there's different ways that I could style this. Like I could also wear this with the long white Merci chalet duster. You know, when it gets colder, I could play with wearing it with boots and everything. So today is a very mild day. And so I'm wearing this with the Thursday boot ballet flats. And if it gets colder, I could also put on that beautiful, rich caramel colored cardigan from Lily Silk. So I'm wearing this with the Nyrell butterfly earrings. And my bracelet is by Miranda Fry. For undergarments, I am wearing the Thigh Society shorts. So I'm not wearing pantyhose with this look. When it gets colder, I will probably, but right now I'm not. So that's why those shorts are good to wear with dresses, especially like this. And then my bra is Nay Barely Zero, um, but the one with the back closure. It's a bit more wavy and, and flowery. I've mentioned this in the past, but I feel very comfortable pretty and at ease in white dresses. And I remember reading that Emily Dickinson wore primarily white dresses in her later years, and I can see why. I could see myself doing that one day, so I always include one. Anyway, this is great. One of my favorite features is the sleeves, which is like a balloon sleeve with a higher cut here on the wrist, and it goes a bit lower, so it's very unique, very beautiful drawstring waist. That's my look for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, today I'm wearing the Agatha Pointel Knit Cardigan from Sky. This is a short sleeve sweater that's slightly breathable because it has a little embroidery on it. I love it, it's perfect for California. And it has a kind of a vintage vibe to it. I think it's funny that it's called the Agatha because I feel like this is something that a character in an Agatha Christie novel would wear. And I paired it with my Lily Silk silk trousers. You'll remember these from last fall winter. They still look great. The tie waist has come out. So <laughs> that has changed. It's like I washed it so many times and then it got caught on something, so it came out. But it still looks great. And in fact, it actually works because it makes the stomach area quite flat. If there's a tie there, usually, you know, there's like a little bulk there. So I'm wearing those and then my John Joseph velvet smoking slippers. And it's quite an old fashioned vintage look, but very comfortable. So I plan to wear these silk trousers for a while. I'm going to try a new silhouette of trouser. It's gonna be from Franny Gold and I will put them on the screen right now and I'll link them down below. But she does very practical trousers, like in different styles. There's a wide leg, which is what I'm going to try. And then they also have like a straight leg, cropped cut. So anyway, I think it's going to be a really good brand. So I'm going to try those out. Sorry, my phone's going off. And if they work well, I'm going to switch them out because that silhouette might look better with some of my fall outfits, but we'll see. Anyway, in the meantime, this is my look for today. It's super comfortable, ladylike, vintage. I love it. When I stepped downstairs in this outfit this morning, Ben told me that I looked like Alice in Wonderland, which is of course the highest compliment that you could give me. <laughs> All right, so these are the final two sky pieces that I'm bringing in this fall. And the skirt is a black midi skirt that is going to be in the core items. So skirts are core items. And then this is a Lucia sweater, and this is going to be in the extras as a sweater. Now, Sky just keeps getting better and better. This sweater is amazing. It kind of reminds me of Chanel and it has gold buttons on it. It has a bit of a military kind of nutcracker feel to it, which I absolutely love. They also sell this with a sweater skirt in the same fabric that would look fantastic. But I chose this black A-line skirt because I think it'll go with several of my other pieces, my blouses and my sweaters for fall winter. And I love the versatility of an A-line midi skirt. I can't tell you how much I love this sweater. And it's actually pretty affordable too. It's I think it retails for $60. I'm also wearing this with the hip stick semi-opaque black tights. Hipstick have the best tights. I'm showing you here the top of the tight. It is in lace and then there's like an elastic band that keeps them held up. Some people ask about size. I choose the size B for the hip sticks. They're a little large on me, but I prefer that to being too tight. So there is like a bit of loose 
space um, on the elastic band part for me. But even with that, they still stay up all day. They never ride down. I love them. So I'm wearing the hipstick tights and then the John Joseph ballet flats. Now I could wear this with several different shoe options. I could do the velvet smoking slippers. I could do the Thursday boots captain boot. That would be so nice on a rainy day. Very Victorian looking. I could do um, black riding boots. So I'm excited to style this this season. So this is definitely a little dressy even. I mean, you could wear this to the theater at night. I like to dress it up a bit during the day and add some interest to my outfit. So I am wearing it today. I'm actually filming the Seek Out the Arts for September today. So we're gonna be studying American Gothic. And I felt like this was a good thing to wear to that as it does have some Gothic elements to it as well. On my ears, I'm wearing the Huggies by Zoe Love. And then for my jewelry, I am wearing a Miranda Fry gold bracelet and then the Goryana black onyx power gemstone bracelet and then my watches by Cartier. That's it for this video. I hope that you found some great wardrobe inspiration. I show these videos not so that you could buy exactly what I have. Of course, that option is always available because I link everything down below, but that so you can draw inspiration if you see something you like, if my aesthetic rings out to you, or perhaps something that I say about how I choose my clothing might help you in expressing your true style. So I hope that you do find inspiration in this video. Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring. Don't forget to use my link, drinkelement.com forward slash daily C. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash daily C and they give you a free sample pack with any order. Let us know how your fall 10 item wardrobe is coming in the comments below. And in the meantime, keep calm and remain classy and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.